What's up, Get Better Basketball community? I'm Coach DeMarco, and this is Focused. In today's episode, I'm going to share with you a great action that Gonzaga used against Kentucky six times in the last 12 minutes en route to a victory. This is Gonzaga's Iverson series, but in essence, it's really just one action they use out of a 1-4 high setup that has multiple looks and really puts the defense in a bind. So I'm going to show you the six different um, variations of it that they incorporated in those last 12 minutes. But here's the basic setup. So you have your four high and you have your point guard up top. And we're just going to get your typical Iverson cut. So you're going to get the two coming across the top. Looking for the basketball. This was made famous by Allen Iverson. They uh, use this a lot, the 76ers, to get him the ball here in space. And then this street player is going to come low, and they're going to come out to the corner. Really popular action that teams use and have a number of different options out of. Now, after they have this Iverson cut across the top, the three is going to end up in the corner. Our two player is going to end up on the wing and we still have our one at the top. So one is going to look like he's going to hit the Iverson action. And then we're just going to get a ball screen here and one's going to use that ball screen. Now you have to remember that Iverson cuts happening. So that pulls out one of the tag defenders. You have your four player who set a screen and they're going to pop to the top. If this player tags a potential role, then their player can be open at the top. And then you have this player who has a long way to go for the roll. So five is going to then roll into the paint. One is going to look to attack. And they're going to hit this five multiple times. When the five isn't open, they can reverse it up to the four. Let's just say this player is the tag player. So that's going to leave four open at the top. And we can get, I'm just going to put five in the paint here for a minute. So they walk down here. And we have our one with the basketball they can reverse out to four. And what Gonzaga like to do is dump it into the five and get some looks out of this. But you could get a three-pointer out of it. So I'll show you the different options they hit. But they hit this roller uh, inside for a layup. They hit them inside for a lob. And then they also reverse the ball out to this four. So each time you run it, there's different options. But you really put the defense in a bind, especially if there's a player who can shoot at the top. If this player goes down and tags, you reverse out, you get a shot, or you could get a rotation from here and a one more for a shot. So a lot of different options. Love this Gonzaga Iverson series. It really helped them to execute in 12 minutes, six different times. Let's check it out. We have this player in the Iverson cut and this player coming through to the baseline. We have the ball screen. And now this player's defender has to make a decision. Are they going to hedge? In this case, they kind of soft hedge and they show... This player going to come under or over. Here's the player on the Iverson cut. A lot of teams hit this Iverson cut. So he's going to stay honest to this Iverson cut. I uh, don't want to get, let this player get the basketball. Here is the other player who's the other elbow player in the 1-4 high look. His defender is going to stay high. And now you're going to get that roll. And this player is making a decision. Do I tag? If I tag, it leaves this player open in the corner. If this player tags, it leaves this player open up top. And they're having a hard time making a decision as to what they're going to do. They don't get in the paint. They're going to hit this player, and he's going to get an easy two points. So let's take a look at this one more time at full speed. Easy two points in the paint on the roll. So let's take a look at the other options. We're going to get the Iverson cut again at the top. We're going to get tags on the roll, a pass up, a dump inside, and he's going to get fouled. The next time they're going to use this action again, Iverson cut, we're going to get a pass inside on the roll, or they're going to score. They're going to come back and use it again. Iverson cut. Lob, score. They're going to Iverson cut again. This is all in the last 12 minutes of the game. They're going to reverse up to the top. They're going to dump it inside again. And they're going to get a basket in the paint. Here's the last time they're going to use it. They're going to get that Iverson cut. They're going to get a pass up the top, a dump inside, and a two points. You're going to see the same action used multiple times from Gonzaga in the last six minutes. And you can see how the different options work out and reads based on how the defense is tagging the roller and what their rotations look like. Great action from the Zags. They took advantage of what the Wildcats were given to them. 
I love to point out sets like this from Gonzaga because it shows coaches out there at all levels, the youth level, high school, college, and professional level, you don't have to overcomplicate it. Run an action that gives your team an advantage and make the right read, and you can score baskets in crucial times in a basketball game. This was a single-digit win for the Zags, and they used this simple Iverson cut across the top, player down below, and then a ball screen six times in 12 minutes. And they used it with less than two minutes to go to get a crucial basket at the end of the game. If you like actions like this, make sure you hit that like button down below, turn on your notifications, and subscribe to Get Better Basketball on YouTube for more great video breakdowns each and every week. As always, get better every day.